Hi there, my name is André Schmitz and today I want to show you how to deploy NetApp on top select 9.6. Have fun! So first of all, we're starting in our vCenter. Select deploy OVF template. I will use a local file which I previously downloaded from NetApp website. Say next. Select a virtual machine name, looks good. Select a cluster where you want to deploy. Wait a little for validating the OVF template. Just a few seconds. And here we are. Next, I select some storage. These are iSCSI LANs from my HCI deployment. I select the destination network for the virtual machine. And he wants to know a password, which I type in here, confirmation. And of course, my company, Der Schmitz Test. Perfect. Now I need to provide an IP address for this virtual machine. I select one from my local network. Netmask is in this case class C. Gateway IP address and a host name. Untap deploy. My primary DNS address. It's my little Fritz box. So you know, because this is a search domain. Finish. Perfect. Now the OVF template uh, is being deployed. And in a few minutes or seconds, we will see our, a new virtual machine in our vCenter. Keep in mind, this was an OVF template, which can be downloaded from the NetApp homepage. And it has everything inside you need for deploy your ONTAP select cluster. So we are at 15%. Wonderful. I will skip a little bit forward in this video. Once the machine is created, wonderful. Deployment is complete. We are going to our new virtual machine. Power it on, launch the web console, and we see the ONTAP Select deploy operating system starting. Once this is finished, I'm going to the IP address I provided before in a web browser. Here we are. Provide credentials. Oh, typo. Sorry for that. and sign in. Here we are. This is the deployment engine. I have no licenses, so I click Next. And I want to deploy on some ESXi host from my vCenter. So far, I have to provide the IP address from a ESXi host. This is the first one. And it will take a while, so just 5 to 10 seconds. In the meanwhile, let's check the second IP address from the other ESXi hosts. Okay. And he's now validating first host. Perfect. And now the second one. 17 and add. Should be a little bit faster. Perfect. Now we have two hypervisors in our inventory and we go forward. We have to provide a cluster name like for any ONTIP system. And then we have to choose if we want a four node cluster or a two node cluster. Uh, I will select a two node cluster because I have only two ESXi hosts. And I will provide a cluster management IP address like for a normal ONTIP. Netmask gateway. DNS names, 
secrets box op typo and the DNS server IP address. My NTP so click on done. Wonderful. Now I have to provide what type of license I want to use. In my case, I only have evaluation mode. So I will select evaluation. I will select a medium node configuration and uh, hosts for my deployment. So select one and two will deploy it on ESX1 and ESX2. I have to provide a management network, an internal network, oops, and a data network for data traffic. So we have now the possibility to enable software rate. Uh, in this case, I have no local storage in my ESXi hosts. Uh, so I'm going to change to a storage pool consisting of a VVOL container in my HCI deployment here. 10 terabyte and done. Looks good. We click on next. And normally we can do a network pre-check. I would skip this one. And now we have to provide a password for our on tap select cluster. And we click on create cluster. Wonderful. OK. So now the deployment VM is deploying two on tap select virtual machines on my two hypervisors on this is X host. Oops. And on the other ESXi host. And let's see if there are new virtual machines. Nope, not at this time. So keep in mind, here you can see the events showing. I have some unsupported network MTU sizes, but that's okay for testing purposes in that case. Let's have a look again. And here we are. We have two new virtual machines and he's doing some stuff in the background, deploying new data stores for those VMs. And in the next step, I think he's going to create new data disks. And as you can see, node two is online and node one is online too. Perfect. So after a while, we are able to, wonderful cluster is created successfully. Everything went fine. View clusters, we click on our cluster called select and we should launch the system manager. And as you can see, there is no difference in the system manager user interface than to a normal on tap. And we log in with our credentials. Perfect. Here we are. Looks like a normal on tap, but we have on tap select deployed. Give him a few seconds. Perfect. Now we would to provide storage. Go to aggregates. We have our root aggregates and we say create a new one. I should say data01 browse first. And we automatically have a mirror in here. So a metro cluster functionality between the two nodes. 
and we create a second data store. It's perfect data 02. Right. The other one. Perfect. Submit. And this took a few seconds. Here we are, two aggregates, and everything is looking like a normal on tap, despite we are running it on ESXi as a virtual machine. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to use the comment function on YouTube or on my blog. I uh, hope to see you again. Bye bye.